This is Devin from GameServers.com and I'm going to show you how to configure your Battlefield 3 server using Procon. There will be a download link in the description for Procon. To use Procon, after you download it, you're going to have a .zip file. Now if you don't have a decompression program to decompress the file, you'll need to download one. I recommend 7-zip. After that, you'll want to right click on your desktop or anywhere in any folder create a new folder and name it whatever you'd like for this tutorial I will name it Procon now you will want to open the Procon zip and unzip everything into the Procon folder you just made after this you'll want to open the Procon folder and find Procon.exe after opening it, you will need to agree to a license agreement. And this is what it'll look like. Now, this is where people get confused because they see packages and newsfeed and they don't look up here. You'll see a Create Connections button. What you're going to need to do now is go to GameServers.com and log into your control panel. This is what it will look like once you've logged in. You will need the server IP which is found right here. Click create connection and then type in that IP 173.199.95.2. Now that IP is for my server. It will change across every server. You will also need a port number. The port number is next to the IP. Mine is 25200. Now it's not the same for every server. I have another server whose port number is 25210. Next you will go you will click the config tab. Right here you will see that your admin password is it's usually your account number. Now for this case I just put password. That's what you'll want to type in. You will skip the username field. Once your server is connected, you will see um, what game mode and also what map is on, as well as the number of rounds. You'll want to click on it. Now this is what you will see, and this is where you will start configuring your server. You want to click Server Settings. Here's your server name. This is what it will appear to other people in the server browser. Let's put gameservers.com. Now please use any server name you would like for your clan or whatever you'd like to call your name. Just keep it appropriate. Click apply. Here's a description for the server. After typing that in, click apply and here's your banner URL field. Now what you will do here is if you have a banner that you'd like to put on your server you may input a URL here and it will show it below. For this tutorial I do not have one. However, if you use one whenever players join that's what they'll see is a banner. You'll go to configuration. Now the player limit is dictated by your server host if you didn't purchase a 64 slot server from game servers don't try and put your player limit to 64 for this server I only have a 32 max player count and everything in here is fine now if you'd like to change the admin password you may if you would like to change the game password now what the game password does is anytime someone tries to join your server they will need to input a password to join you may also di disable the profanity filter or you may disable the idle kick. Now idle kick I would suggest to leave it enabled. What this does is kick any idle players that stay on your server for 300 seconds without moving. Next you go to gameplay. This is where you can change all your gameplay settings. If you want friendly fire, kill cam, mini map, everything is here and this is where you can fully adjust different settings for your server. 
after you've gone through each one you will need to go to config generator and by the way for level variables unless you're looking for different settings on maps you do not have to mess with that so go to config generator and this is what you're going to see you're going to notice that it it put everything that you configured into um, the commands for the server what you'll want to do is click copy the clipboard or select everything and copy it copy the clipboard click advanced view by default this is what you'll see you want to select select anything above punkbuster.activate you want to leave that in there so that your punkbuster is activated after this you want to click save changes and you should disconnect from Procon but once your server is back up you will be allowed to connect again through Procon After those settings have saved, you may close your Procon client. Now if you need to do any in-game banning, you may do it through the Procon client. Next we will configure your maps. Now depending on what game mode you want is how you will dictate what maps you need. Or actually let me rephrase that. After you choose the map name, then you'll put what type of game mode and how many rounds it is. Now I have a PDF for that. Here are the map names in which you need to input by going to choose file and map cycle, then clicking update. Now select everything and delete anything that's in there in the map cycle field. Depending on what map you would like is how you're going to set your settings. Now let's say we want to use Operation Metro for a Conquest 64 player server. We would use MP underscore Subway Conquest Large 0 and then 2. Now the 2 at the end is changeable. That's how many rounds will be played on the map. Setting 2 means each each team will have one round to play. Each team will have one round to play. And after two rounds, it will change maps. Now, let's say you have a 32 slot server and you wanted to play Operation Metro. You put MP underscore Subway Conquest Small Zero Two. and that's how you will set your settings now if you look at my PDF on the left you will notice how to what the names for the maps are what the engine names are and that's what you need to use is the engine names just like I've done in the field after you're done configuring what maps you want your server to play and your game modes click save changes after this your server will be successfully configured